Hello everyone. Hope everyone is fine. So this is the next video part 2 of our video series based on CRISPR Cas9 gene editing technology how to design your project. I would like to suggest to please watch part one of this series for better understanding. In the previous video we have talked about how to find your gene of interest and some other basic components of designing your project. So here we are going to talk about how to find the sequence of the gene of your interest using NCBI and Ensemble. I will go through their websites to find the sequence of our gene of our interest. In previous video, I have talked about that I will go for the gene BEX2, brain expressed X linked 2 gene, to find its sequence. But now I have changed my mind. And I would like to go for another gene that is VEGFB, vascular endothelial growth factor B gene, because there are some facts. The fact number one is just few days ago, one of our lab paper published based on this gene, so it is more better to talk about this gene. The second thing is this gene is conditionally disrupted. That means a specific tissue has been targeted for this gene. In our previous video, we have talked about the conditionally disruption or universally disruption of a certain gene. Third point is in this paper, the dead Cas9 has been used. There are many types of the Cas9 based on its function. One is wild Cas9, that means this Cas9 can do DSB, double stranded breaks. So that means this enzyme can make double cuts on the where we have targeted on the targeted site. But that Cas9 is another type of Cas9 in which the nucleus activity has been deactivated. The other, the fourth factor is in this paper, crab domain has been used. It means the VEGFB gene has been downregulated using the crab domain. On the other hand, if you want to overexpress the gene of your interest, you have to use VP64 domain. Uh, about CRAB domain and VP64 domain, we will talk in more details in another video. The next thing, what I will show you that how you can find the coding sequence of your gene of interest from NCBI website. And we will also see the comparison of the sequences of this gene both on NCBI and Ensemble. And after that, we will go for the designing of sgRNA. This is very important in designing project based on CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing that what you want to do with that gene. For example, here in this paper, they have down-regulated 
the V is a P chain. So, you have to keep this factor in your mind while designing your sgrna there are many databases available for design of sgrna but we will follow pentling pentling is more better because of many factors and you will get to know these factors while we will be designing sgrna so now let's move towards the NCBI website that how one can find the gene of his or her interest sequence I will type here NCBI National Center for Biotechnology Information I have provided its website in the previous video also okay so this is the main window of the NCBI. Here you can see many things at your left and some things at your right also. Usually I use right hand side. To find the sequence of your gene of interest, one need to go click on nucleotide. Okay, so now you see only nucleotide is appearing here here in this search box you have to write the name of your gene VEGFB is our gene of interest and in which organism homo sapiens you can see some suggestions from the website you can also type what whatever you want with this gene but I will click on this mus musculus VEGFB means this will show me the sequence of e VEGFB gene for mice, house mouse. So you see here we can find the vascular endothelial growth factor B, mus musculus, house mouse. There are also other results but just ignore them. You only need this one. So click on this. Here you see the details of this gene. This is its name. This is the detailed name. This is your gene ID. And when it is updated, 11th of September 2019, this region shows the summary of this gene, the official name official full name official name given by MGI or primary source from where this gene has been taken ensemble we will also go to ensemble which type of this gene is protein coding yes ref sequence is validated and which organism must musculus house mouse lineage this shows the lineage of the organism this is the other name of this gene expression broad expression in heart adult adrenal adult and 26 other tissues you can find more and autologs are humans and some others in this box you can see the position of this gene where this gene is present it is present on chromosome 19. How many exons it counts? Seven exons. This picture shows you the position of this gene on the chromosome 19 and its somewhat neighboring genes. The next section is very important. Here this, this region shows you the region the, where this gene is present and if you want to go for more details in graphics so you can click on graphics if you want to see the sequence in faster format you can click on this faster but we will go for gen bank but first i want to tell you some more things here in this region you can see the expression of this gene in different tissues at different times for example 
the highest expression of this gene is 8 heart and the second one is at adrenal glands. So this way you can see the expression of this gene at different tissues and at different times. This section shows you some papers related to this gene and so on. Here you can see some variations about this gene, some pathways. You can play with all these things whatever you want. But the primary thing for us is we need to go for the sequence of this gene and to find the CDS region of this gene. So we need to click on gen bank. A new window is appeared which shows us the detail of this gene. Mus musculus from which strain C57BL6J chromosome number 19 GRCM38.P6C57BL6J and uh, ref sequence number from here you can go to FOSTA and you can go to the graphics and how big this gene is 5000 5180 base pairs and these are other details you can read about it the most important thing about this gene is here you can see the region shown whole sequence you cannot go for whole sequence because if you click on this whole sequence so this will show you the whole sequence of the entire chromosome but we don't need the entire sequence of this chromosome so we it is more better to keep these figures as it is. You can play with this as uh, whatever you want, which feature you want to see. Here I want to tell you a very important thing is display option is show sequence, show reverse complement. Sometimes you will not see this show reverse complement and you will see just these other figures. If by default you see this show reverse complement this means that this gene is present on the reverse uh, on the antisense strain of the dna here you can pick primers if you want to do pcr of this gene uh, and if you want to run blast but let's go towards the sequence of this gene so here we can see the sequence of this gene started from GTC and ends with ACTA. So this is the, the sequence of this gene. Now the important thing is we need to know the start codon from where the translation of this gene is being started. So here you can see CDS coding sequence. So this sequence start with 2, 4, 1. Let's see where is 2, 4, 1. Yes, here. This is 2, 4, 1 and you can see ATG. So this ATG is the start codon of this gene to play with this gene by targeting start codon. Now how you will design your sgRNA based on the position of this ATG. You might know where your ATG, your start codon is present. We gone through all this process and we get to know about the sequence of this gene and we also found the start codon of this gene. Now we need to knock out this gene from the whole body. So how we will design our sgRNA and if we want to down regulate or over express this gene then how we will need to design our sgRNA. 
and if we want to make some single base changes then how we will design our sgRNA I will show you later now let's move towards the ensemble database and we want to cross check the presence the position of this ATG with the ensemble so you need to open a new tab go to the website of the ensemble ensemble.org yes so you have to agree with their cookies okay so it's a little different show uh, this this window is a little different from that uh, uh, NCBI here you need to search you see this button and you can go to mouse all the other organisms you can see you can what you are interested in you can find but we are interested in mouse and what is the name of our gene is V E G F B and then you need to click on go yes so we got the search results many results and here you have to find the res most respect your results so the first one this window shows you the gene VEGF its ensemble number its description like detailed name vascular endothelial growth factor B and from where this name is given from MGI if you want to know more about MGI so you can click on this and the MGI website will be open here you need to click on the show transcript table and here you will see many information about this gene so I'm going to click on the first one VEGF P201 and I want to see the more details about this gene so you see this is like the 5.18 KB strain here you need to go to your left hand side and you click on exons yes so now you can see the detailed sequence of this gene here the the window is a little different from the NCBI uh, the blue one is translated sequence the green one is flanking sequence and tron sequence UTR and some other things you can play with it what we are looking for is the translation sequence and the translation of this gene start with ATG as we have seen it on NCBI website so now let check cross check it with the NCBI so here it is A T G A G and one two three four five C's okay so let's go back to NCBI yes A T G A G one two three four five yes five C's so it means that our sequence of this gene is correct and now we can move to next step of designing our sgRNA